Okay, this one here is going to be more advanced. Uh, what we're going to do is basically get started with what we call a function generator. Uh, when you're doing electronics with a lot of the stuff, multimeters are just one thing. They just, you know, you put them in the circuit, you see what's going on, you get an idea. So over here, if you left click the function generator, you can bring it into the schematic. The only thing you have to remember is to attach the common. So here's your function generator, you can double click on it. Normally what we do is we start off with a kilohertz that's generally most equipment's going to be tested against one kilohertz center band uh, for its frequency response. Normally we do not start off with 10 volts peak to peak. Uh, more like more generally one volt would be just fine. If you understand what the offset is all about, you're good. Um, all I can tell you is, is that it's the difference between DC and AC. And you have different waveforms that we generate. Um, sine waves, triangle waves, and square waves. You're going to be using this a lot to generate signals throughout circuits to see what they do, especially in the digital land. We use it in analog just so that we can see what the waveform is going to do when it's modified. So here we have a one volt, you know, one kilohertz signal. We're going to run it and you're going to be like, where are you going to run that? Right into the middle of the voltage divider. And you're just like, that's crazy. Yeah, trust me, you normally would have a cap involved right here, but the multi-sim lets you get away with just putting it straight up in the middle. And you can see, just by using a regular oscilloscope, you're going to be using these a lot. Make sure to attach your negatives on the negative side. If not, you're going to go across, you know, whatever is the component you're testing. For us, uh, for multi-sim to get an idea of what it looks like, we start off with something like this. In the real world, you get funny results. Most signal generators have caps put into their outputs if not resistors and caps put into their outputs to pre you know prevent shorts and stuff of that nature but for illustration purposes of just getting used to what we call a signal generator or function generator and the oscilloscope because this is where most of the work is going to be done so we hit play and you can actually see the waveform the AC one volt waveform normally we'll sit and watch one volt per division okay then you can basically change it out for time delays if you've never played with an oscilloscope, just ask. I've used them. I uh, don't have anything digital storage, but analogs, yes. And starting off with analog works a lot better. And analyzing, just your simple waveform. Simple sine wave, nothing fantastic. Um, to me, it depends on you know, if you used a regular oscilloscope, normally just hit normal or single shot. That way you get an idea of, hey, that's what that's looking like right there. And you can pan it out as needed. So you can look at your waveform. Looks pretty damn good if you ask me. So we're shooting an AC sine wave into the middle of a voltage division. And, you know, that basically gets you started with what we'll call the input to your to your amplification loop, as they call it. Or, you know, a new term. Because most people don't look at circuits as being loops through time. So, but needless to say, for the, for the function generator, basic operation um, in the real world, nothing beats getting to play with the real item but you can just see simple function generator up plugged into the circuit does it work is it set up can I see the output does, you know and I like it because when you use your your uh, spy glasses or your tags it'll tell you what frequencies in those areas so if you look right here where I put the voltage it says one kilohertz and I love that because you know when you're building a circuit it's good to know what frequencies at what stage you know how good how's the waveform look and it says right here you know two volts peak to peak you know kicking through right in here you know nothing fancy one volt per division one volt one volt two volts pretty straightforward so there's your simple function generator used in a simple DC circuit you know and an oscilloscope attached to it so that way you get an idea of what the world looks like. So if you hook this up in the real world, you know where to set the time domain. You already know where to put the scope. And as I have learned, or just don't forget, those watch the grounds. So if you have a circuit that you don't want to attach to ground, in other words, earth ground, just make sure that you are aware that the scopes grounds are usually tied to the earth. So if you go probing around, be careful. Be, be extremely careful. So anyway, there's your multi sim. 14 basic you know function generator oscilloscope set up you know simple stuff you know but rudimentary for most folk to get to learn how to use um, just 
simple circuit constructs. You know, hey, why does this go here? Why does this go here? Um, this is how we learned it from back in the days. So, hopefully you enjoyed that.